gosh, aren't horses the most amazing creatures? So majestic and so incredibly strong. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to own one of these and never quite could, always living in the city, but you know, the idea is still there. So how about we make a little stable so we can have hours of horsey fun and still enjoy the ride. So fun. Aren't you beautiful? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> We're going to make the stables, the jumps and the whole paddocks, basically the whole kit and caboodle. So we need a base plate, something to form the ground, if you like. So we're starting with a sheet of MDF and that also makes it easier to slide under the bed, so good for pack away time. And let's add some grass. And this is actually artificial turf. Now, if you hunt around the shops, you might be lucky enough to find an end of roll like this one was, or you can buy a piece, a square metre, and that'll cost you around $20. Hot glue gun, best thing to stick it down with. Just run a little bit around the edges and remember it does dry, so a little bit, stick, stick, and a little bit more. <laughs> we all know that you need to look after your horse. I mean, this little guy needs to have his hair groomed and he needs somewhere to be cleaned, he needs shelter and he needs to stay warm. So a stable is the perfect thing. You can make horsey stables. You do need a box. You can use something like this little wooden box, which you can buy from the craft store or the $2 shop, or you could even use a shoe box if that's what you've got at home. So I reckon if you tip it up on its side like that, it's gonna make it more accessible so you can see the horse can kind of walk inside. I'm gonna clad this and paddle pop sticks, well, they're the perfect thing. You can find them from the $2 shops in packs like that, nice and colorful. And then for the inside, we do need some floorboards, something for the horses to clop along and somewhere where you're going to put their straw and their hay. If you're lucky enough to have more than one horse, you don't want them fighting in the stable, so you will need like a little divider or a barrier between the two. So you can make that easily, just with some blocks and some sticks, and again, your hot glue gun. Now, if you want the information for how to make a project just like this one, you can find it in this month's Better Homes and Gardens magazine. And to stop the horses from bolting away, they will need some little stable doors, so just some ordinary paddle pop sticks with some cloth tape on the edge. Now, that forms a hinge. Then it can open and close so the horses can come and go. I don't know an awful lot about horses, but there is one thing that I do know, and that is they love to run, whether it's around a paddock or just around an exercise yard. So I think we definitely need to create like a little exercise yard here for the horses. So mine's gonna be circular. So as a guide, I'm just using an old embroidery hoop. So I've got these little wooden cotton spools and they act as the bases for the posts and they just basically go around intermittently and then you can kind of crisscross them over and that forms a very strong fence. Another idea to create paddock fences is to use some bamboo sticks, you know, the kind that you tie up your tomatoes with and you can kind of lasso them together with string. Very cute on the edge, don't you think? Yeah, and also, for a bit of texture in the bottom of the ring, you can use a piece of coir, the kind that you line your plant pots with. It's a mighty fine horse ring, isn't it? Yeah, why the long face? She's pretty clever. <laughs> and don't waste the offcuts of the coir, because if you wrap them around some little tins from the recycling box, pop some glue in there and add some shrubbery, you can have your very own little potted green. A really exciting thing to watch is horses jumping. And you know, some of them are so incredible, they even get to Olympic standard. To make your own jumps, very simple. Again, the same sticks as we used for our little circle here, and some paper straws. And you can make kind of like little chair shapes out of blocks of timber and paddle pop sticks. You can go up to intermediate or even advanced. You never know, a bit of practice, and it might even go over three. And for a horsey blanket to keep him warm and also to keep his coat clean, you can use felt. All of this running around is bound to make your horses hungry, so make them a little trough, again, out of paddle pop sticks, and fill it with some hay. Now, that's just teased out coir. Now, with a little bit of make-believe magic, the fun can begin. This hay is so delicious. I know there's a place for iPads for kids these days, but you know what? You cannot beat handmade toys. So get busy this weekend, make something with the kids or for the kids. You will all have a ball. Giddy up.